All right, my name is John Gilbert, and I'll be talking about Chapter 2 as a whole, Social Business, Full Speed Ahead, or Proceed with Caution. So I'll start with an introduction. Uh, this whole chapter has been about, and this case study has been about, social business and social platforms. This is like the conversations between employees and management and then customer and employee communication. This all goes over these enterprise social networks, and these are gradually becoming the primary communications channels for noticing, deciding on, or acting on information relevant to carrying out work. Social business is much more open to everyone's ideas. Therefore, everybody has a chance to introduce a brilliant idea. It can run your business more efficiently. Um, and it covered two different companies, Bayer Material Science and Carlos Bake Shop, and then the the uh, social enterprise social networks that they used were IBM Connections and Salesforce CRM, aka Chatter, respectively. Current IT events going on right now. So the Gold Belly application has been applied to the um, Carlos Bake Shop website. It's like a really organized way that customers can use to go in and check stuff, and they also use it in, amongst themselves when processing orders. And then for Bayer, they have the social media room tab on their website, and this has links to all their different topics like health and nutrition, agriculture, etc. It also has links to various channels and other languages. All right, question number one, identify the management, organization, and technology, technology factors responsible for impeding adoption of internal corporate social networks. Um, first off, it talks about NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, um, and they abandoned a custom-built enterprise social network called Spacebook because, frankly, nobody knew how to use it, and it was designed, it was originally designed for smaller groups to communicate amongst themselves rather than including, like, larger groups and making Communication just that much more excessive. Um, the the big problem with them was they just didn't really know how to use the social platform, so they kind of just gave up on it. Um, and then in Carlos Bake Shop, they used Chatter, and initially some of these employees had like the thought that it was unnecessary because they had so much um, publicity from like success with their business, and they already had email, Facebook, and Twitter. They kind of thought they had it made. But their, their organization demonstrated tremendous, or it really showed how effective these enterprise social networks are um, because it helped them re reduce their paper use because the company was largely paper-based, so everything became digitalized, and then errors went down 30% for them. Um, here are just some, some pictures of these, these systems. So on the left, you have the IBM connections that they used, and then Carlos Bake Shop used the Chatter app on the right. Question number two, compare the experiences implementing internal social networks of the two organizations described in this case. Why were they successful? What role did management play in this process? So they were both pretty successful in implementing the internal social networks. Um, first off, Bayer Material Science established some goals. They wanted global collaboration. They wanted to create stronger networks across regions and departments. And then they wanted to create a less hierarchical um, culture of sharing and they reduce reducing the confusion of which tools are intended for which job. And they benefited tremendously from having these social networks to discuss ideas and communicate among employees and customers alike. Um, and then Carlos Bake Shop, they eliminated their paper, conducted business through a social platform. Um, it didn't waste employees time and less errors were made. And then cakes were a team effort for them from order to delivery. Should all companies implement internal enterprise social networks? Why or why not? I genuinely believe that companies should have a presence on social platforms. The extent to that presence depends on the company. For example, a construction company will benefit from the customer feedback and can handle shipments and deliveries of materials over the internet, emails, websites, etc. Um, and then the ability to just unify an entire company over one network and manage certain groups in an effortless manner is priceless. This will save time and effort on everybody's half. It also opens up opportunities for certain companies to express ideas from lower levels. Um, and this makes conducting business much more simple. Questions one of two. So I had a question about why would a company not use enterprise social networks? Because they just seem to be so beneficial for everybody. 
Well, according to Forbes, um, they said, it's why enterprise social networks haven't fully become a crucial component to an organization's operating practice. Quite frankly, that saddens me because although technology isn't the answer, enterprise social networks can do so much good for an organization's culture and engagement. 75% of survey takers in the majority category didn't feel like they had the freedom to experiment or take initiative. And people are afraid to voice their opinions in these companies without the enterprise social networks. And then not only are these employees on edge, but their leaders worry that if they encourage the use of these enterprise social networks, that their sense of leadership will vanish and there won't be that same level of respect between the employer and employee. And then question two of two, I said in the future, will there be a time when offices don't exist and business will be conducted completely online? And according to an article I found on the Observer website, pretty soon the adoption of AI will create more jobs, which I thought was kind of crazy because I figured robots would kind of replace this, you know, and AI would replace the need for basic jobs. But so some job functions will be replaced by AI, but some amount of job displacement is inevitable due to pressures of automation and self-service. But those people in those roles can be repurposed by forward-thinking leaders. Those who do not look to AI in the future to and see the opportunities, but instead focus on the obstacles will be left in the dustbin of history. And that was a really powerful quote for me. I just kind of couldn't believe that if you embrace the, the AI takeover that you're going to still be around. I, I still struggle with that concept today, but my generation will have to face that in the next 20 or so years. And then in conclusion, Ultimately, these enterprise social networks can benefit companies, but by not only unifying them in one convenient organized space, but also by giving a voice to the lower level employees. And that's very important because this environment encourages others to speak on the ideas they have to improve the overall efficiency of the company and the customer employee relationship. Well, I hope you enjoyed my presentation and I'll send the next one next week.